What's up, YouTube? This is uh, Rufio Vic. I play on North America. Um, I'm playing a Diana mid here. Normally, I play her actually jungle. Figured I'd go ahead and try out the new draft mode and uh, queue up with my brother, who's playing Shen as top lane. Uh, he actually did queue up with the wrong runes and masteries, but it's a regular non-draft game, so I mean non-ranked game, so we kind of wanted to see how we were going to do. Um, I'm going to do my best to inject some commentary where uh, I think what I was thinking at the time. Um, here I'm starting the game with uh, a Dorans and a couple potions and a, uh, a sight, uh, sight board there. Uh, I'm going up against Azir in this matchup. Um, from the looks of it, it's not necessarily a counter, although it uh, I mean, Diana's not necessarily a counter for Azir, but it was definitely a hard matchup for him. Um, not saying early on I didn't make any mistakes. I did make some mistakes. Um, uh, here we're actually going, uh, starting on the, uh, the bottom side, it looks like. And, um, we get into this little skirmish with, uh, Jinx. I, I don't know why I did it, but I, um, expelled my, uh, Flash and my uh, Ignite there a little early, but whatever. The game ends up uh, going much better than that initial engage, though. Jinx was pretty low after that. Um, so we're here helping out the leash and um, grouping up in the bush and gonna see if we can make something happen. No, I'm by no means a pro player and whatnot, so. Um, I do make a couple of mistakes early. Don't hold the actual video against, uh, or the, the actual video against me. Um, I have burned my summoners there, and uh, during this leash, I figure we try to get a, at least a little bit of help, get her a little pushed up a little bit uh, early on. So we go ahead and take out the uh, a couple of the jungle uh, jungle creeps. I end up tanking this a little bit for her, just so we can put her even a little bit further ahead. Kind of hoping for that. Um, you scratch my back, I scratch yours over there in the mid. Uh, just in case I need it. I don't think I'm going to need it against the Zir, and I end up not needing it, but, um, you know, it helps. Um, I actually am a terrible farmer with Diana in lane. Uh, when it comes to jungle, I'm, this is what I'm used to playing her as. I'm completely confident in my clearing abilities and whatnot. But in lane, I'm just, I just I have a, a weird struggle with it. Um, I get poked down a lot, and and I miss last hits. I, um, you know, so I end up using a lot of my mana to farm, which is uh, probably not the best idea. But um, it's kind of how I end up playing her in this game, and it ends up working out. Um, I keep, I try to keep good vision. Uh, if you look at, um, you know, what I can see from the middle lane here, um, I'm pretty well covered considering where I'm at in the lane positioning. Um, I did get the big minion there. Um, so right now it's kind of passive. I'm playing kind of passive. I'm trying to get the last hits. I'm not all that great. I, I juke in the uh, bush there to fake like I placed the ward, but I, I definitely did not place the ward. Uh, I did that just in case their their junglers deciding to uh, come come pounce on me there. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do as best as I can with the last hits. I do have that Dorans for a little bit of regen uh, in terms of, of mana and um, give me a little bit of AP. But, uh, you know, I make a couple trades with, uh, with uh, Azir and I get back out. Um, I'm just trying to get my level 6 because that's essentially when Diana really excels. Um, when she And now that I wore that top side, I... I I do uh, have vision of it. I do get catch Rengar coming in a little bit. He does uh, poke me a couple times. He does have his um, uh, stealth detection item there, so he does take out my ward. I'm trying my best to keep these minions out of the tower because I'm I know I'm already a bad farmer mid. So with with Diana, so I uh, I end up just um, trying to take a little bit of that minion damage to keep it off the tower, but. Anyway, so uh, Ezreal did get the first blood down um, on the bot lane. Um, my brother up top with Shen is struggling. I don't show it here, but he is struggling. I'm, I'm talking to him on Skype this entire game, and he's just bitching the entire time about how his, uh, his fucking runes and masteries are all messed up. But um, 
you know, what are you gonna do? I mean, uh, you know, it's not a GG until, uh, you know, until, uh, you know. I actually never like to surrender, but I'm one of those try-hard bronzers like you, you people in the, uh, solo queue always call it. But anyways, so I like, I like playing a game out, and I end up, you know, doing this little trade with him there, and I still got my Ignite, and, um, He's low. I still am pretty good on health, although on mana I'm a little bit low myself. But um, I continue freezing this lane up, just trying to last hit, um, giving giving Elise an opportunity to try to gank, and she did end up trying to gank top, and she bitches at my brother about fucking it up, and maybe he did, maybe he didn't, I don't know. But uh, anyway, so. Again, it's kind of a boring midsection here. We just keep going back and forth. Um, end up trying to farm a little bit. Uh, Azir's gained some of his life back. Probably popped the potion or two. Um, and my brother and Elise are sitting there bantering. Now I got my six, and I go in for a, a short little trade there. Um, and I back on out. I end up double R'ing him, so that's on cooldown for a little while, and I'm low, and I feel like I'm ahead, so I go back uh, to B and uh, make my first item pr purchase. Uh, I know I'm not going up against a full, like, 80 damage um, uh, opponent there in the mid, but I end up getting the Seekers uh, just because I do want to build up that armor just to get a little bit of it. Uh, I give an MIA for the mid. I think he went B as well. Um, but yeah, I, I do want to build up that Seekers. Um, Zhonya's is one of those items that you kind of have to have as Diana, especially if you want to be initiating any any type of team fights. Um, it's not like you're super squish, but I mean, you can get locked down and get pwned. So uh, I do like to rush Zhonya's in lane. Uh, obviously in jungle it's a little bit different. Uh, you see here I'm holding it, uh, kind of holding the lane where it's at. Um, I pinked the middle just because I definitely do not want to get ganked. Um, I want to stay ahead. I feel like I'm ahead. I don't know if I really am, but I feel like I am uh, here in the mid. And uh, this whole time I'm just going to try to just bully um, uh, Azir. And, and what I'm going to do, and I don't know why I used my E there, but um, whatever. Don't judge me for... <laughs> wasting certain spells because um, you know it's one of those things where it sounded like a good idea at the time but anyways the way I try to bully uh, this uh, Azir considering he's kind of a kind of a melee kind of a, a ranged more like a ranged in my opinion uh, is by engaging the minions and popping my W for the shield then going in and doing a short trade then getting out now if he ever gets close enough to where I can full commit uh, I do want to have my Q up so I can land that, and I'm actually pretty good at landing that for the most part. Um, I like to consider myself a Diana player. I do play her a lot. I do like playing her. She's fun. Um, but you do want to have that Q available to you, so um, I do try to keep that available if I ever see him kind of sneaking up on the bottom side, um, just kind of trying to flank some of the minions to get his farm up. Because he seems like the type to be pretty concerned with his farm, and me, not so much. Um, I know I can probably win this without the farm. So here we got this little trade going. I do use my E. He uses his ult. I flash beyond his ult, and it looks like the minions took him out. So here comes Rengar, trying to come in on me. He's debating on whether or not he wants the tower. And I said, okay, bring it. I got my shield up. Couple hits of that, and, I, and you're gonna double my shield, and you're taking tower damage the whole time. So uh, overall, I think I won that that little exchange, and um, definitely set Rengar back a little bit. I decided to stay in, stay in, get this little bit of experience and some more gold, and then I'm going to be going B shortly, um, from what I remember. Um, I am doing this commentary after the fact, so. Uh, so I could concentrate fully on the game, but um, yeah. So I give the MIA because I did see Rengar did uh, go somewhere. I pushed up that minion wave, so Zira's up against the tower. I can go B and purchase an item. I forget what I'm going to purchase here. 
Oh, I end up going straight for my boots, my second level boots. So uh, that's going to give me that 15% magic, or 15 magic penetration, which is going to help me kind of burst him down. He won't be escaping. Even uh, now that even my flash is down, I think I'm still going to be able to kind of burst him down considering uh, how close in I got on him. I think Azir really struggles with these high mobility assassin types. Um, you know, he, he himself is high mobility, but um, I, I don't know. He just did not bother me at all. Uh, and this is probably the first time I've ever played an Azir uh, against an Azir while I was dying a mid. I've played Zeds. I actually own most Zeds. I've played Talons mid. Um, a couple of the mage types um, I might have a problem with. Um, Diana, uh, Diana, in my opinion, is one of the most versatile uh, champs. You can play her top even. You can play her jungle. Um, I, she's probably main uh, best suited for the jungle. And this team would have been a perfect comp for a Diana jungle, but it actually turned out pretty well uh, having Diana mid. Um, I was able to soak up a lot of experience, and I was able to get ahead of my team. Um, I actually think I hit I hit level 18 in this game, whereas some of the people on my team were still like level 15, 16. So, um, yeah. So, anyways. Continuing this boring uh, engage. I'm, I'm really not focused on farming minions. I want to get that Q on him and get and win these small little exchanges. And look, I'm coming out pretty much full life um, because of my shield. And he's walking away, popping potions, and with huge chunks of his life gone. Now again, yeah, at, this is all at the expense of my mana, but I still do have that Doran, so I can, as long as I can farm somewhat. Considering I'm an awful farmer, so I don't. To be honest with you, I, that that differentiates, I guess, a really good Diana mid and uh, and an average one like myself um, is their ability to keep an eye on the enemy champion uh, like Azir and also um, uh, CS effectively and keep an eye out for ganks. Um, and I think I do a good job keeping an eye out for ganks, but I, the one place I guess I, my game could improve, because I'm always aware of where Azir's positioning is, so that's how I poke him down, but I, uh, I do have a problem CSing while doing the other two items I mentioned, watching for ganks and keeping an eye on the positioning of this. Uh, and he now he's trying to get get rid of my pink there, and I don't want to let him have it. So he uh, so he's still trying that. He is out of position, in my opinion. Anytime he is in front of any of his minion waves, he, in my opinion, is out of position. So uh, uh, Elise Peng says she's coming. So what I do is I kind of hold this where it's at. I'm a little low life myself, but my R is down as well. So I just want to wait for that to come back up. Lisa, she's coming, so I'm gonna take her word for it. And I think, yeah, we do win this trade, but uh, I forget exactly what happens. So she's coming up, and I'm pretty—I was pretty certain I, he did not ward that bottom, so I let her come. And he flashes, we rope him, I slow him, I bust, I, I burst him down, and I use my ignite. Probably didn't have to, but I wanted to anyway, so. Rengar comes trying to uh, salvage something from that trade, even though he was mad late to the party there. Um, Rengar can be very dangerous to me, so I try not to get in a one-on-one -on -one situation with him. Um, I think later on I end up doing that, but um, I do ping to be careful there because I'm saying I don't really want to be involved in that. And I go up and see my, my brother's probably showing me over type. And there's something going on on top, so I come up there, try to bust some ruckus. And uh, end up using my R on cooldown, but that's okay because I intended on going B anyway, so. Um, I go back at. Uh, when I'm B there, I do pick up a pink ward and the uh, other component for the. Um, Zanyas, so I'm pretty close to that Zanyas at this point. Um, I look, I'm seriously sitting here looking at this exchange going on uh, over near the mid. Um, looks like Thresh gets pwned. 
Uh, my brother does end up taking the top tower there, though, so that that did help uh, help us get a little further. Um, I'm one of those. If I'm ahead, I actually kind of like to uh, dance in the end zone by not letting my tower go down at all, uh, and that's what I end up uh, doing is just keeping this lane pushed up. There's always that pressure. He's always farming under tower. Um, I do drop the pink down. Um, I do want to make sure I do. Have, I have vision here. Uh, I feel at this point a comfortable lead um, ahead of Azir, and I can pretty much do whatever the hell I want. Um, it gets a lot more. It gets a uh, a lot more apparent so, uh, later on in this in this game. So. Uh, Anyway, so I'm, I'm still farming the experience. One thing you do have to have is uh, is a level advantage um, if you do want to start the snowball. Uh, my brother's uh, talking to me over on uh, Skype. I know that bush is warded, so we have to decide to all in. He misses his taunt. Um, he uh, Renekton ults. I got the moonlight on him, and I seriously pwned him. Um, I go ahead and just help myself to this blue here I think. Um, Diana does benefit greatly from the blue, so blue buff. So I went ahead and take it. It's one, And because I'm used to jungling her, that type of clear is not a problem for me. And I go back to mid again to keep this motherfucker off my tower. Um, late in the game, I feel that when you have uh, that mid tower still standing, even if you've lost your flanks. It's just one of those things that's just kind of demoralizing to the other team. Because they just can't seem to break down that middle uh, barrier. You know, and, uh, and here I just obliterate him. Um, I, I delete this guy. And I'm, I'm coming out flawless victory, like full health, considering um, my shield there. So the, uh, you know, Rennington has to come and kind of pick up the pieces for this Azir who's just getting um, pwned, and I, I already have enough for my Zanyas at this point, so I'm really just waiting for an opportune time to go back and get it, because I'm not going to sit here and try to 2v1 uh, with my my mana and, um, you know, no Zanyas. So Elise comes up, and we are going to try to make a play, although I, I, got, I was out of position for that trade, so... Um, up uh, getting my E off on him there. Up, oh, and uh, at least did get the kill. I got a pretty good chunk of gold from that though. Um, so that assist was pretty nice. Um, uh, here, I'm, I'm not really that concerned. We got that Rengar out. Rengar for some reason really just freaks me out. I mean, Rengar is just super strong right now. Um, just to see that fucking exclamation point above your head just really. Uh, really freaks me out so um anyways and uh, plus i've i've been like two shot by a rengar before it didn't even look like he had that many items so he couldn't have been anywhere close to full build so um and i actually to be honest i ha hardly ever play i don't even know if i own him i think i've only played rengar in situations where he's been a free champion so i'm not super familiar with his skills but Anyway, so I come up here, there's something going on, we're getting kind of risky underneath this tower. Um, let's see if I can try to make something happen. Um, they come out a little bit, I get that, uh, um, uh, Moonlight on Azir, but my, my brother ults me, he didn't tell me he was going to ult me, but I didn't expect him to, so I didn't really stay committed. That was another mistake probably by me. Uh, also, my, I kind of burned all my cooldowns though, trying to get kill his ear there, um, with not much, uh, not much come out of it. So um, I end up going B, getting my Zanyas. I do have enough to start building my uh, Lich Bane, so that's kind of where I start to go with it. Uh, Lich Bane. Once you get Lich Bane with Diana, she, because she f does follow up her uh, her. Um, combos with auto attacks it's a really strong item and there is that like second and a half or two seconds sometimes between your abilities that you cast because you do um, you do wait for your moonlight uh, to come up Q to come back up before you hit that R that's how you get pentakills with 
Diana. Yeah, so essentially you're gonna Q, and then once they're debuffed with Moonlight, you R, you pop your shield, you might slow them with the E. And you, all this time you're sneaking in auto attacks throughout this whole thing, which she does some major damage because of her passive cleave uh, doing the extra AP damage. Now I had a feeling that uh, uh, they were close because I think they just killed Dragon there, so I do ward that river, and uh, Renekton... Uh, doesn't feel comfortable engaging me through the through the river bushes there, so he comes around the other side. I think, to be honest with you, this is a very good uh, Rengar, but um, yeah. So I continue to farm. I try to keep this out of my tower. I don't have to worry about taking the tiny little minion, minion damage that this is because I do have my, I do farm with my shield there. Enemies are MIA in the middle. I do catch a glimpse uh, from our vision up there. And, oh, I think this is a devastating hit to Azir uh, coming up. I got him debuffed, and uh, I ended up uh, diving him underneath the tower just because I knew I had my shield up, chunking away at his life, and now I got my Q up to do it all over again. And my Ignite's up. So, and I have Zanya, so I decided to mess up his whole day. And I pop Zanya, and I get the kill again. Uh, oh yeah, Rengar does take me out here. Um, I, I, I did cue that minion, uh, that creep uh, there to see if I could do, make something happen, but, um, oh, never mind. Yeah, Rengar does kill me, yeah. Um, but he, uh, Rengar had cleared that, so that eliminated my escape, because if you're ever in trouble with Diana, you can cue a, um, uh, you know, some of the jungle creeps and end up you know, using your R to dash to him, and it's just like having another flash, which is freaking awesome. It's one I, one of the reasons why I just I love Diana. It's it's like a, if a Kali wanted to do the same, she would have to uh, have a a ward or some sort of vision behind, uh, so you could actually R over a wall with a Kali. With Diana, you can give yourself that vision um, with uh, the Q. So, um, I, in my opinion, I think that's just an awesome. Uh, attribute of a uh, mid uh, assassin AP hyper carry, or uh, I wouldn't even say, but just AP assassin mid fighter type carry like Diana. And um, you know, you kind of have you, you kind of have to play her glass cannon, and it does require a lot of um, uh, a lot of outplay, and I uh, can get pretty messed up here, I think. Uh, yeah, they don't kill me. Um, they just don't have the damage to kill me. Uh, between Sona and uh, Renekton. Considering I do have a Zanyas as well, uh, they probably just didn't want to commit. And then the Zanyas right underneath my tower and then sit there for two and a half seconds taking tower. So this is a cool uh, team fight. Renekton does, uh, uh, I mean, Rengar does join the party. Um, I'm, uh, the whole time in this, I'm not going to fall through the wall yet. I'm waiting to get the right person moonlit, and I did, and I think it was Jinx, and I end up uh, uh, unloading a, a bunch of damage, uh, popping all my uh, my double arc gone. Um, so I do have to wait for that to come off cooldown, but still, and I ended up dying right in the middle of it. So, um, yep, I got a kill there. Rengar is still wreaking havoc like he normally does. Um, oh, there's Renekton trying to engage our Ezreal. I try to just uh, save uh, save him, but I don't think I end up saving him. Yeah, he got pumped. Oh no, he ended up killing Jinx. Cool. So um, I end up going getting away. This blue is up, so I'm gonna take it. Uh, with Diana, if your jungler is okay with it. Um, anytime that blue is up see, and you're playing mid, see if you can take it. Um, um, it's always nice nice to have that extra mana on. Uh, so I moonlit, uh, running, running in and went in and um, yeah, we ended up getting the kill. Elise helped out with that one, so that's kind of cool. Uh, just getting some more CS here, because remember I told you I am a terrible CSer in lane. I'm just really bad at it, so. Okay, so I go B here. And, um, ended up getting, finishing my Lich Bane, which is fucking awesome. And I get another, uh, needlessly large rod. And in preparation for building my Rabidons, 
Uh, Rabadons is one of those items that's a nice to have um, with Diana. I wouldn't say it's an essential. Um, I would classify uh, the Zanyas and the Lich Bane and of course the Sorcerer's Boots as essential. Um, but the uh, but the Rabadons I would not say is essential. Um, actually, in some games, depending on how I'm doing, I'll actually get the uh, Abysmal before I even do any sort of um, uh, Rabadon. Reason being, Diana's main, I guess, role within a team is the fighter and engager role. And as such, you don't want to be deleted. Uh, if you're playing jungle, uh, you want to be able to get, you know, gank and not have to worry about just getting obliterated on your gank if your uh, laner or your bot duo is late. Oh, this is an awesome uh, kill here. I delete this motherfucker, uh, and I end up getting a level. And now my R is at its full power. And I, again, that was a flawless motherfucking victory. So. Um, yeah, so I'm continuing to farm here, that's cool. Um, I am literally, um, uh, messing up the day of Azir, I don't even know why. I'm gonna probably end up making this motherfucker an uninstall or perma-ban every time he gets the opportunity, Diana. Because, it, I just don't see how he can, there, I don't know, I, I own Azir and I just don't know anything he could do against uh, this type of a fighter. I mean, there's just I don't unless you were gonna build straight uh, magic resist. But anyway, so my brother, I, I I'm communicating with him saying let's go ahead and stop his uh, his um, his B, and I'll come in and I miss my Q there, which fucks us pretty bad. Um, it's back up though, so I'm just looking for Renekton, and we're gonna see if we can try to make something happen, and we don't. So, either way, we just set him back a little bit. I end up, I think, trying to ward. Yeah, get the ward down. Oh, I catch a glimpse of Renekton again. And we are... Oh, and uh, they put the power up. Here comes Rengar and the bot duo. And it's a, it's a party here in the middle. Um, Renekton goes in again. Double kill. I still got a phone on the mic above on one of them. My ult's coming back up. Pretty cool. Our Ezreal gets a couple kills here. Our Elite is all over their shit. And I think I delete Azir again. No, I don't want to delete Azir again. But anyway, we delete his fucking tower. And um, my R is coming back up off cooldown. I'm noticing this. Keep in mind that whenever I use that second R, or I use an R on a non. I, kill, I did delete that motherfucker. Any, anytime I'd use my R in a non-movement um, target, meaning it will invoke the full cooldown, um, I'm cognizant of that. And at this point, because the R is max, um, max, I uh, and I do have a little cooldown reduction, um, 10% from that Lich Bane item, which is fucking awesome that they uh, give you the cooldown reduction on that. So this thing, this tower has one hit left on it, or two, so I come up there and just fuck that tower up, and then I go back, and I go decide to go B. So uh, at this point I can more than afford the Rabadon, so I think that's what I end up getting here on this B. Uh, my mana is a little low. Um, we have pretty good vision, um, you know, of the map. Uh, anytime I can afford it, I know I'm not, I don't play support, but I, I'm one of those people who likes to still pick up a pink, and that's what I end up doing here. Anytime I'm back, because chances are, wherever I put it before is gonna get found out at some point, so I'm gonna need to put another one down. So it's nice to have that vision, and again, I think I help myself to the blue, or maybe Ezreal takes it. Yeah, I think that motherfucker does. Why the hell does he need it, but even though I end up with like twice as many uh, kills and about three times the damage to him, so. Um, I can't remember if we bear in here or not. Yeah, we do. Oh, uh, no, we don't. Uh, yeah, either way. Um, okay, so, uh, it's gonna be another party here, and, uh, I take out, I save Ezreal, and take out, uh, Rengar. I, I, I do pretty much delete that motherfucker, too. Um, he probably does not have any sort of magic position or anything, so. 
uh, get some more minions here because, again, I am a terrible CSer. And you don't have to co put that in the comments because I already know that shit. So, um... Okay, now we're going to put a little pressure on this. Jinx is no match for what I got going on now. Oh, I think this is where I kind of, um... And, uh, bonsai these motherfuckers. Um, yep, that's fine. So, I miss Sona's ult. I get in there, bonsai one of these motherfuckers. And I end up getting the fucking ignite off on, on, on Jinx. So, I think Jinx ends up dying. Yeah. I ended up killing Jinx, um, even after my Zhonya's popped, because I guess she wanted to kill and got greedy, and didn't realize I had both a, uh, a shield and an ignite ready, waiting for her low health ass. She could have just let Renekton have it, but she got greedy. Um, so anyway, so yeah, that's what I ended up doing. I deleted two, yeah, I bonsai underneath that tower, and I don't know where the fuck my team went, but, um... Shit, I'm 52 at this point, so who, who really cares? And my brother tries to dance uh, um, with uh, Rennington here, and I think he gets deleted, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I mean, it really hurt him having essentially AP uh, runes and um, the masteries for somebody like, I don't know, Akali or something like that. I forgot what he was running exactly, but. Um, it didn't help him at all. Uh, with with Shen, I probably would be running the, uh, the basically full tank runes and masteries. He benefits from that. Um, the AP ratio scaling of his W, his shield is not super great. So what did it give him? Like an extra seven, um, seven points of shield. So, anyways, uh, yeah, keep going with this game, killing shit in the middle. And, uh, actually, you know, considering how bad at CS I am with her, I'm at, um, you know, pretty decent at this point from what it looks like there, and, um, a lot of that can be attributed to the fact that I have my attack speed item, and considering her a natural attack speed buff. Um, so yeah, come back up middle, get some free CS here, and, uh, back off a little bit because I see Rangar. I'm really scared of him, so I give a. I want to take him out, and he's definitely out of place. And uh, again, I delete him as long as he's not just straight out one on wanting me. Uh, as long as I got some CS, I mean um, CC on him, which there was a good amount there, um, I literally delete him. Um, just like pretty much everyone, and we end up baroning here. And yeah, they see us baroning. Uh, what are they really gonna do about it though? So, you know, uh, Rengar out they don't have a somebody with, with a smite and um and I, we just do so much damage and i come out baron we come out of baron with a flawless victory uh yeah so anyways continuing with this uh team um we do struggle with the middle here just because of the, the way that the opposing team is dying in such a manner where they're coming off of, uh, oh, and I killed that motherfucker, I killed Renick in there. Um, where they're coming uh, uh, off spawn pretty much one at a time, and it's enough to kind of just keep us away from bur um, bursting down this tower. And we don't have that minion wave pushed up in the middle, so it's not like we have anyone capable of straight up tanking the tower, considering how bad the runes and mastery situation brother is with Shen. So, anyways, he, put, uh, he puts this up just as a last big effort, and then uh, I delete him. Um, uh, a deer like I have done all game. And we go in, and now we got the minions who can actually do something. And they are stupid to try to engage us here. Um, and we did get ulted by Sona. I, del um, I think, I, yeah, I delete her. Um, we are, wor I attack so fast at this point, so... I'm pretty much deleting anyone, and and with that spell blade of uh, Lich Bane, I uh, pretty much delete anyone. I delete fucking uh, Jinx. Um, Azania's under the tower. I'm, I'm kind of left to dry here, so Rennick then does kill me. But I was like, if I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go ahead and just unload all my cooldowns on him and fuck up his world a little bit, um, force him to go heal, and that's what he ends up having to do. Um, <laughs> I went back 
I, I, from my grave, I was spending 4,000 gold and got a, uh, I built essentially my full build here. I bought the Abysmal Scepter and um, finished out the Nashors. And uh, I think I even get my enchantment. I'm get, yeah, I get my enchantment and I end up going with Captain. Um, just because that's what I felt like at this point. I felt like the fucking Captain Hook on this motherfucker. So, um, I'm at 21, 3, and 6 at this point. I'm, uh, I'm gonna, I'm figuring we're just gonna go in there and finish this shit off. So it kind of just lingers on for a little while. And, um, you know, it, this game is unnecessarily long. I guess we could have just figured out a way to end it. Um, but we just couldn't because, uh, team was just glued to Rannikin, and he was just unkillable without me, and even with me, it was just a bad day. Uh, look, in this situation, we're all attacking Rannikin, and everyone in back, Jinx and um, Sona, are just fucking everyone's world up, and Rannikin's still alive. So, it just, uh, that's kind of why you gotta have somebody like Diana, because if the team is gonna get fixated on the tank, and it's a natural, uh, it's a natural thing to do, and I, you know, I gotta admit I've been guilty of it myself, especially when you're playing a champion with low mobility and um, high susceptibility to CC, like the AD carry. The AD carry cannot necessarily get get to the back like somebody like Diana can. That's why, in a situation like that where you got Sona and you got Jinx. Uh, and behind a Rennington, you want to have somebody like Akali or somebody like Diana to fuck up their world in the back because you know the team is going to get zoned out by that tank, whether it be Mundo, whether it be Rennington. Um, so that's kind of why it's nice to have somebody with this kind of gap closer uh, and also that CC. So in the back, and I call for help here trying to give it to Ezreal, but I don't know what the fuck I'm going to put on. Uh, I end up taking this shit myself for the red buff. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's that's kind of why I like Diana uh, in in a team fight situation is to provide that engage and then that gap closer for and and ability to get to the back line and delete the AP and AD carries and the supports even. Um, I'm not gonna be able to delete their their. Engage you know, if they have a hard engage like a Renekin. Um, I'm not gonna be able to, to delete that just going head to head up, up front. So it's not like I'm gonna join my whole team and sit there and just try to pound my head against the wall uh, that is Renekin. So instead, I'm gonna go look for an opportunity, moonlight the back line, uh, burst down as much as I can, and then once I notice I'm taking a lot of damage, pop that Zanyas. I do like to pop Zanyas not right before I'm about to die. I like to pop Zanyas right when I start to be able to catch this motherfucker now, and then that's when I can fucking blow up. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, and, and that's, if you be catching a, a tank like that out of place, then yeah, we can do that. Um, so I kill Rengar like I've been deleting, and now that we don't have to worry about the threat of Rennington, I am okay to kind of just kind of stomp around and figure out how to best finish off the rest of their team. My Zanyas is on cooldown, I have no use for gold, so I don't know why I'm farming. Maybe it's just to make my CS look numbers look a little better. Um, bring all those motherfuckers in with my E, and my team gets a couple assists there, I get kills. I am now... fucking 23 and 3 and 7. So I'm literally, uh, toning. And I think we're just gonna finish the game off here. Yeah, we ended up doing that. Everyone's on, you know... And I was thinking about going, going home and just like... Extending the game out, but I was like, man, that's kind of a douchebag move, so um, we end up finishing it out. Now, Diana's attack speed can kill a, kill a tower so fast. Now, if you look at what she's crossing uh, on the Lich Bane and whatnot, and I end up deleting, uh, deleting towers like that. So, anyways, thanks for watching, YouTube. Um, you know, if you have any questions, uh, post up in the comments. I'll try to do a couple more of these. Uh, I have this new software that records my games in the background. Thank you.